Okay, so what's up YouTube? It's Curry Diary Manila here. So today I'm gonna give you a full uh, you know walk around of the Vespa S125. Okay, so this is the latest um, scooter that I have currently. And if you see it, it's matte gray in color. Okay, Let, let's go through it one by one so at least you'll have an idea what exactly it has. Okay, so once again, it's a Vespa S125. Okay. It's an FI or fuel injected um, scooter. It's the latest model that uh, Vespa has uh, introduced to, to the Philippines a couple of months ago. Okay, so this is the cheapest Vespa available in the market. Good thing about it is, you know, it already has the FI. Thing, okay the I get technology or the green experience technology so it's the it's a euro correct me if wrong uh, what I know is that it has a euro 3 compliant engine which is really good the muffler also have a catalytic uh, converter which is a you know part of the compliance uh, for this green emission okay again s125 it's the smallest engine displacement that the Vespa has for now okay the color is uh, matte gray okay it's matte gray flat gray or whatever you call it okay mono shocks in front is uh, very typical to Vespa okay the tires in front is also a you know tubeless all right and it has a it has an 11 inch diameter uh, front tires Okay. the rear tires on the other hand is just 10 inch so if you realize it it's really tiny in terms of our tires that only has like a mono shocks at the rear okay the good thing about this uh, suspension that Vespa has even at this very entry level unit it has a preload setting okay the preload what does it mean you can adjust the preload setting of it based on your um, load capacity okay there are three settings uh, indicated in the manual okay if you have a single passenger you can set it at load 2 then if there's a lot more load than expected you can set it at load 3 as the maximum preload setting okay there, there are three uh, available colors of this uh, Vespa S125 all actually in matte finish okay one is gray there's another one in red there's another one in green okay so this is the this is the choice that I have from the very start in front you have the typical Vespa signal lights okay and a square headlamps headlamps is actually h4 headlamps halogen okay if you see it it only has some pockets in here okay so Aside from the previous LX model where it has a glove box with, with keys. Let's now go to some of the controls. Okay. The dash, if you see, if you notice, there's a blinking code there. Okay. Hope you can see it. Okay. The blinking, the blinking LED is actually for immobilizer of this unit. So everything is EFI and at the same time, the engine is equipped with immobilizer. The immobilizer will definitely be activated if uh, the the unit is stolen. Okay, so it's a really good feature that this unit has. Okay. Okay, so aside from immobilizer that is that keeps on blinking, okay, you can see some indicators here like for the engine, okay, that's for the EFI system to activate, your signal light, your clock, okay. There's, uh, of course, the adjustment setting for, for the clock, digital clock. The fuel, which is also very reliable aside from the, what well, you can see, a gauge from here. Then there's an engine light, then high beam. Okay. Okay, so on, on, the, on the left side, you can see the light 
uh, switches for high beam or passing okay then on the lower part you have the signal light left and right turn with reset button okay on the lower part you have the horn button okay this is uh, of course normal and typical to all motorcycles and scooters out there but for some reason i find it really you know this uh, the, the placement or ergonomics of this uh, buttons are really weird the first thing that you will uh, touch is the signal light i prefer actually i prefer button horn button on this one because that's the most uh, useful button in my opinion okay then for the passing you know you can only turn it on when the headlight is on commonly japanese uh scooters right now even the kimco light has is the uh, passing button which is really handy so you don't need to like turn on your your headlight for it okay the grip is is rubber with the vespa logo which is really cool okay the brakes of course the visibility is really good and this uh, side mirrors okay okay let's go to the right buttons okay On the right buttons you have your headlight okay three settings okay from from an off button to park light to a full headlight beams okay then next is the starter button okay there's a starter uh, electric starter button okay so if you notice uh, this part of the center center has this uh, bump okay so it's really also very common to vespa okay so what does it mean you can't really put in anything on it flat but that's fine right it still has this hook that you can use maybe uh, to put in bags or groceries last thing is uh, this part is a footrest for your passenger so it's weird because it's not you know it's not protruding out it's not out but nonetheless okay it's really cool okay so good thing it also has a center stand okay and side stand the side stand when you uh, put it down automatically shuts down the whole thing okay the compartment here is definitely removable okay where you can access the engine the battery is here the gasoline lid is here you open the whole seat to access those the gasoline tank has like eight eight liters of capacity which is really nice same as uh, the kimpo light it has this a uh, helmet hook where you can definitely put in or strap in your helmet okay which is really handy okay so pretty much that's it okay so once again uh, thank you for joining uh, this is a uh, scooter diary manila thanks for watching this video of the scooter that I currently have as Vespa Vespa S125 so please don't forget to like my video make sure you uh, put in some comments as well if you have any concerns and of course subscribe to my channel all right so thank you for now and see you again next time